we could also present the results of the first randomized trial that compared head to head a new form of interferon alpha, the ROPEG interferon alpha 2b, to hydroxyurea in patients with polycythemia vera for their first line therapy, the so called PROUD PV. Indeed, we presented last year at ASH the result of the 12 months analysis that showed non inferiority of interferon compared to hydroxyurea to achieve a complete hematologic response. With these two years' analysis, we found more interesting results, let's say, meaning that in on the one hand, we see that the response, hematological response, continued to increase in patients treated with interferon compared to a decrease in the patients who were on hydroxyurea. And the second, and I think for me, more important point is that uh, the interferon alpha induce better molecular response. When we followed the JAK2 mutant allele burden in these patients, after 12 months of therapy, there was a decrease in both arms of treatment uh, that was almost similar. But things dramatically changed during the second year because patients on interferon continue to decrease their mutant allele burden over time, while those on hydroxyurea experienced a re-increase in their JAK2 mutant allele burden during the second year of therapy. So although both drugs maintain the hematological response, there was a striking difference at 24 months between the mutant allele burden with a much lower mutant allele burden in patients who received interferon compared to those treated with hydrea. And the hope with this molecular marker is that we may uh, alter the natural history of the disease by eradicating the mutant clone with interferon, an effect that is not seen until now in patients treated with hydroxyurea.